Uh, tukua hapa leo for purposes of uh, this exercise a biometric registration uh, NHF that will uh, help to connect our people to the universal health coverage. Na tukua hapa leo governor I think uh, uh, our Gatimo here we have a population of around uh, 32,000 people, citizens. Na doing simple maths if one homestand has around 5 uh, people then we have uh, slightly above 10,000 homestands. And so to Kiangalia Sabiote, we want to ensure that we have covered a very huge number of uh, households that are in this place. Going further, Old Jorlok has a population of close to 100,000. The same thing, doing the same equation, I think uh, to Tajaribu each and every day to mobilize our people so that they can register to this particular exercise. And I know you know your county has a population of uh, more than 600,000 people. And giving the same mathematics, I think, is something that to Tendelea, moja kwa moja kumobilize watu wetu, wa register kwa hii scheme ya National Hospital Insurance Fund, uh, with the flagship, with the leadership of our governor here, with the leadership of our Ministry of Health, the National Hospital Insurance Fund, and overall, the president, who has guided us so much in doing this particular issue. Uh, I would like to say special thanks to His Excellency the Governor for the leadership in this county as he has explained that um, the target of biometric registrations that we had, we have surpassed it by almost 100% from 36,000 to about 54,000. And this just shows that through that leadership that the people of Nyandarua County do understand the importance of being registered under NHIF. Um, ladies and gentlemen, NHIF currently is undergoing this digital transformation and that is why we are ensuring that we have biometric registration of all, all Kenyans and all members of NHIF. Today we are here in Nyandarua County winding up the process of mass biometric registration across the whole country. This process started 30th October last year and was launched by His Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya as part of the scale up for universal health coverage which is one of the big four agenda of His Excellency and with UHC the target is to ensure that every Kenyan has access to the health care that they need without suffering financial hardship and the way we will be able to achieve this is through NHIF as the vehicle through an insurance system whereby every Kenyan is covered. The principle of insurance is that taking care of the unexpected occurrence. So that little premium, as His Excellency the Governor has mentioned, of 500 shillings per month for the whole family is able to cater for a whole raft of benefits. And that is what we're encouraging, that every Kenyan enrolls as a member. We are in the process of amending the NHIF Act and to ensure that that happens, that every Kenyan above the age of 18 enrolls. We do understand that those people who would not be able to afford even basic necessities of life. And that is why we are pushing for every Kenyan who can pay should pay. And every Kenyan who cannot pay to be identified and supported. And in the county of Nyandarwa, is the first 20% that is supported through um, uh, 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 national government uh, with the help of the Ministry of Health and also the county government of the 14,000 initial indigents who will be supported by national government as well as a matching number by the county government to ensure that the vulnerable, the indigents in this county are all covered so that we can have a state of universal health coverage whereby every member, every household in Yandarwa has access to that high quality care. As His Excellency also mentioned earlier, that uh, as we move through the process of scaling up for universal health coverage, it is important that the service that is provided to the people is also of good quality and it is also affordable. And it is for that reason that even the fines that have been introduced, not introduced, amended within the new act, 
is that it will be very it will be a lot more punitive for people who defraud the fund who defraud who commit a fraud against um, uh, uh, the fund in order to gain unlawfully at the expense of our fellow Kenyans while at the same time to ensure that every member is enrolled we have reduced the penalties for members who when they default and as we have seen during this COVID times been economic hardship so we've proposed also in the bill that the penalties are also um, are markedly reduced so that we encourage as many members to be able to join uh, the scheme and also at the same time to be a deterrent for people who want to defraud and use uh, uh, the people's funds um, unscrupulously. Uh, Jinangu ni Francis Kememia, Governor Nyandarua County. Na tumekuja ku, kufanya climax ama kusherekea mwisho wa kuadikisha wananchi wa Nyandarua County. Kanto ambayo wadikishaji wa NHF umekua kwa hali ya chini sana. Lakini nituwe shukulane kwa sababu wananchi wetu wa wito. Na umetokea kwa wingi sana. Wale mbua wamejiadikisha ni, ni wananchi wengi sana. Target yetu ilikuwa ni watu eh, elfu thalathini na sita na miatano. Lakini tiyale wale ambao wametokea ni, ni zaidi ya elfu hamsini na, na tatu. Kwa hivyo, namba, labda mwisho bae kumaliza na hii exercise ya leo. Tutekua tumifikisha labda 54 elfu hamsini na naina. Kwa hivyo nitoa shukwane kwa naichi wa nyandawa county. Maulize huu ni wakati mzuri ku, kukubali kujadikisha kwa NHIF. Na hili tuweze kuendelea mbele kuna kwamba wananchi wetu hard party shida wakati wamepata ugonjwa kidogo kidogo ama ugonjwa kubwa unaweza kutibua kwa hali ya haraka na harambe zitakuwa zimeenda chini imekuwa kila wakati ni harambe harambe so kwa hivi sasa ukijadikisha na hiyo kandi na unaweza kuwa unatoa shilingi 17 saba kila siku ama 500 kila mwezi na tayari familia yako yote imekuwa covered kwa hiyo pesa ina hiyo kwa hivyo ni unaweza ku, kuifanya wewe rais either Shingi kumi na saba kila siku ama miatano kila mwezi na umekua covered mambo mengi itakuwa umetetea me, me familia yako kwa mambo ya maradhi ya maradhi ya ugonjwa. Ningependa ku, kutuwa shukua ni kubwa kwa NHIF na pia waziri wetu mutahi na pia rais uhuru kenyata ambayo hii ni, hii ni uhuru kea kama hile Obama pia. Obama kea. Kufu ningependa kuuliza rais pia kama angeza kufanya restructuring zaidi ame najua mefanya mzuri katika NHIF na pia pale Kemsa kutengeneza hizo bodies bili najua COG sasa tuko represented katika katika hiyo hizo hizo institutions bili vile tuliuliza naongea kama chairman wa broke ya Mount Kenya na pia chairman wa kamati na pia ni, ni, ni member wa kamati ya health katika COG na tumeona mambo ma, 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 mazuri ambayo imeanza kuingia katika NHIF hata kuja mashinani sasa eh, CEO Peter video the, you know the future is the counties let the NHIF hapa mashinani mkitaka tuwapatie shamba mjenge kujeni ili tuweze kuendelea mbele e, na hiyo ndio itakuwa imesaidia kwa ningependa kuuliza rais kama wangefikiria mambo ya NHIF kuipatia more capacity waweze kuja kufundisha watu hapa e, hata kutusaidia unabao tunajenga ma hospitali kama hii JM complex hii mashujaa complex tunajenga e, NHIF kipata pesa wakati wa reforms na ambao zinafanywa wawe na capitation pesa inaweza kupitishwa kwa kwa NHIF waweze kusaidia counties ambazo bado ziko nyuma kwa mambo ya hospitali kama Nyandarua county if it can be kama England kama financial institution any other financial institution because it is a, it is an insurance for uh, institution so the, the principles of management and governance should be on good corporate governance uh, principles uh, preferably as a financial institution even if it remains it retains the public the public uh, character as a public entity still operating within the PM, PMF Act itakuwa imesaidia sana kuwa na kwamba NHIF imekuwa restructured it is not tied to bureaucracy to government bureaucracy but is able to uh, you know, to efficiency, efficiently deliver services to, to the people. Number two, I would like to request also the president, if it is possible, those who commit crimes within the healthcare system, those who inflate costs within, within the, 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 the insurance industry of the NHIF, if those could be converted into economic crimes, so the fines are very heavy, anybody who tries to, to forge or to, to lodge in fraudulent or ex, uh, exaggerated uh, crimes, how do you want to inch? These, are, these will be crimes against the national interest and they should be charged under the Economic Crimes Act or we should enhance the crimes within the NHIF Act which is, which is being reviewed so that we, we make sure that it doesn't corrupt. We don't start the Uhuru Care system uh, just similar to the Obamacare uh, system and then it is sabotaged by those who bring in fictitious crimes 
and will sabotage anything good that is started in this in this country. So we'd like to applaud the president. We'll support him as governors to make sure that the, the universal health care operates in this county and in this country with other with other colleague governors whom we work with and we want to want to, to, to welcome him to to, to, to share with us, you know, help the counties that are a bit marginalized, like in Yandawa County, and so that we can be able to proceed well. And also look at the issue of affordability. Is the other issue I wanted to end up with? The issue of affordability of healthcare in this country is too expensive. I think that we need to have some health intelligence system to find out how come you have an accident. Uh, this happened to one of our youth in, uh, in Manjohi. You have an accident, the one that was in Lari, son of our chief. Uh, he died within, within about two hours. By the time uh, they went for the bill in one of the private hospitals here. It was heading to 300,000 shillings. This person did not even go to ICU, but you find very, very also very, very uh, funny, very fictitious, uh, you know, uh, uh, medical claims that are being lodged on our people. It is almost a crime to get sick in this country now. It's almost becoming a crime to be sick. If you if you are sick, you don't know whether you ever come out alive. That's why we want to support this system. But there are also those who are sabotaging. By, by inflating costs, the cost of healthcare, whether private doctors or public doctors or public hospitals or private hospitals want to see more reasonability and more logic, better logic, and also concerns for the poor people in this country as we manage health. Health is everything. Health is productivity. Health is security. Health is life. Hakuna kitu ingine. Uhai, kutaka kwa uhai ni mungu tu. Kama uhai ya tuangari, wanaichu yetu watakuwa wameisha. Kwa hivyo nituwa shukrani kubwa sana kwa hiyo kazi mzuri ambayo imefanywa na NHF